what are all these dots? Health points that I don't need because I didn't get shot. Nice. Okay, hold on. Where am I supposed to be going? Map. That wasn't the map. What's the map? Tab? I need to go around. The dead man. Okay. Tubes. Sorry. Anyway. Okay. Hold on. Real gamer hours. Fuck. Who and where? Got it. Get shot. Got it. Fuck. Keep going, keep going. Health, health, health. She just vibing. Where am I supposed to fucking go? Um. Hold on. This way. Got it. In here? Okay, so something's happened to all these people floating in the air. I don't know what I just did. Oh. Okay, assets. Got it. Um. Clearance. Undefined reading. House memory. I don't know what this is. I'll find out later. Research workers. Got it. Oh, okay. Field research on his entity. His corrupted security guard. Confidential. Summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to the corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature and organic hosts over time? More data is needed. So some of them that have shields maybe need to be meleeed. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his have that level of cognizance? Does it tr utilize hosts for tasks that are best suited to combat trained hosts or reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for full report. Got it. I don't know what the hiss is, but I presume we'll find out very soon. There's so much information. Hold on. Objects of power can cause oh, we saw or this. results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to code their connection to the astral plane as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well, fucked. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Hmm. Object of power. So this is an object, yeah, it's connected to the... I, I, I read it. Don't, don't tell me I haven't read it yet. Okay, thank you. Case files, got it. Service weapon. Um, object of power 1-KE. Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Description. 
Parautility. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows parautilitarians, para like paranatural, okay, paranormal, uh, utilitarians to redact it. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of blank. The object will determine whether blank. Okay. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. Probably, we probably die. The process is dictated by, my guessing is the pyramid, though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. Okay, so it was discovered there. The popular hypothesis is blank. Many forms throughout history redacted. Oh! Mahomir, sorry, not great with that pronunciation. Excalibur, uh, Varunastra, all weapons that blank of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, blank. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more details, which we do not have. Um, research and records. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. Okay, we've gone through our data. Collect this. We have not gone through all of our data. Federal Bureau... I'm sorry, just touching my hair all the time. <laughs> Federal Bureau of Control. Confidential. For Marshall's eyes only. Marshall. We've checked out the suspected AWE, so... What was it? The definition it was asked for altered world event. Okay, the suspected altered world event and in Duluth. Du Duluth. Wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Keenum. Well, anyway. Oh. Why did I do that? I don't know. Oh, maybe for safety purposes if I wanted to, like, read while in the middle of the fight? I'm so sorry. You good? Oh, you're not good. Hmm. Okay, let's leave. So we need to tab. This is the way. Fog. Off. So this is Central Executive. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Oh, hiss. the hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. We heard Is that was the hiss your enemy. All right, it's our enemy. So there's something on my side. The babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Boy, do I know that feeling. Yeah, let's turn that on. This might help. So, it lo Oh, wait. This is like the astral plane. I can't go through here. Central executive has changed. Oh, that's the fucking pyramid. Wait, why is the astral plane, like, identical to what's happening in here? I don't think that's normal for typical workplaces, but, you know. Urban legends. We'll read that in a second. And... Visitor evaluations. Let's take a moment. Examination of paranatural topics, urban legends. Summary. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. I bet you there is a degree of like people's belief or putting energy into things that it man like man it makes things like manifest probably. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain blank, informed by our own blank, and popularized by our media. We had, have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificial artificially blank in popular culture using blank our bureau made anthology television program once the seeds are sown human imagination exacerbates the details certain paranatural phenomenon uh contain clear elements of popularized folklore awes that only occur on blank 
a pair of scissors that consume human blank through two punctures on the blank. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Refer to file 4 93 69 nice 42 for full report. I knew it. Oh my god, I got it. I know it. I knew it. Firo. Oh, <laughs> Firo. It's getting late. You can tell. The Federal Bureau of Control. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How'd you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem blank, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. We're probably going to kill them. Yay! The government. What's your name, buddy? I can't read it. Jim. We are in the office. Hold on. What direction did I just come from? Oh, yeah, down here. Got it. You good up there? I don't know. Went over there. Can't pick anything up. You guys, I'm sorry. Oh shit. Oh god. Yo, you are dangerously low on health. Hold on. Nice. Nope, I can tell. I need more- I need more blue bits. This Help bit. Fix it. It's like a little. It's like a circle. It's like a. It's like a magic circle. Or a portal. It's like a portal point, maybe between astral and here. That was fun. Oh, that's funky. Oh, I like that. I don't know what we just did, but I like that. Hope? Can you hear me? Fast travel. Are you with us? With the Bureau? Yes. Are you still sane? I can fast travel. I can do outfits. I only have a civilian outfit. Fast travel. That's cool. This is, oh my god, it's like an aetherite. Hold on. Talk to me. How do I talk to you? How do I talk to you? I literally just have to fast travel. Hold on. Where do I- I don't think I can- It's safe to come out. Oh. Thank you for the guidance. I was a little lost. Friend. I can't tell you how happy Sorely. I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. The Pope. My Got turn. it. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. Nope. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. No We're way. Oh, is it is it because I, I spirit bonded with the gun? My bad, you know. 
sorry for bonding with your gun. It was an accident, but also definitely on Director, purpose. Fagan. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I am Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. That was in the documents. The hiss, like the sound of poison gas leaking out. No, that was in the documents. Full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, or not was that protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. Was that our field research? You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. He's. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. No, you're doing fine, Emily. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. Uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her or her suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, he keeps appearing to me. It's true. Saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I just kind of walked I'm not in. ready to tell her about you yet. Oh. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. Hey, this is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> You're telling me. I can't. I don't even know what's it. happening. Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Give me Dylan now. Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are. I'm very sorry, I've been different. shooting them at this point. Emily if I could Poe. do that, I've been I have been shooting them. I don't know her, but I like her already. Me too. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so. She seems to be working in a good and like a positive yet. direction. Or rather the bureau she's a part of. Yeah, me neither. Yes. But she seems nice I and I'd try. like to trust her in time or maybe uh, sway her to I'm our side of things. You, of course. Maybe I'm speaking too far away from the we mic. We can Whoops. try it together. But Okay. Got it. With me. We did it before. Push the hiss out. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. I can't cleanse that. Um. It was worth a shot. It was. Thank you, Director. Jesse. This is the way they tell you you can't take a pacifist route early on. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. You you just said you don't know you don't you don't trust her yet. Listen. The bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, ordinary. <laughs> ordinary. A bit on the nose. The bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I want to know about Dylan. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at ground zero as a child? It was one of the big ones. Mm. And before my time... And very classified. <laughs> well, I'm the I director can try to now. I some old files for you. Yeah, My give me. Casper give me. Darling would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or uh, suspected. You just tell me he's not a bad he guy. The HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. Okay, I well. They're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. Mm -hmm. The ghost, the 
whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. He said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and Baby the Baby hotline, please hold me close to you. Do that. Uh, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hicks. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Hmm. Ooh. They call me the director. Hmm. <laughs> but that's not me. <laughs> I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? Because we're directing the flow I of think events. You know. That's different. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Baby hotline, please hold me close to you. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. So Thanks, Emily. Okay, so we've basically been introduced to several things. So we have the pyramid which seems to have a place in regards to the astral realm that taught us how to kill things in general. It was like a training session. Um, we have the board, which may or may not be related to the pyramid. I'm guessing it is. We have the bureau, we have the hiss, and we have the swirly camera stairs that I like. That is my buddy. The swirly camera stairs might be related to AWEs in some way. Maybe we got it so around the time that thing happened. And it is- I love the jumping in this game, sorry. I just- eh. And maybe it has- It seems to be helping us and it seems to be a positive thing. We are a- our, we are not one person, we're a team. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. Mm -hmm. I've been to New York a few times. Bigger on the inside. How didn't I notice this place? Shift. It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The mm. oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Objects which of is power, perfect places for us. of power. Got the it. work we do here is essential, but 
unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. Smart. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have objects of power and we have places of power probably connected to the astral plane, seeing as the gun was. Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. That's cool. I like it's that. Just a hypothesis on my part. I like to think that he's in the gun, like spiritually, <laughs> you better emotionally. Hold on to that, given circumstances. I think I will. I like to think we're a team of yeah. three. Jesse, aka me, I guess in this case, the the camera stairs and and trench gun. I like to think that he's he's in the gun. Thus, can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power Perfect. are mundane objects that house paranatural energies Got and it. have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, regular objects... So objects of power, regular things that we would find in this world that are, sh they've changed in some way, they've shifted somehow uh, by a connection to the astral plane. And then they have, they, she said there was another one, what was the other one? Altered items, which are altered things which cannot be contained by objects. So they're kind of not being able to, they can't be utilized the same way, I guess. So, HRA stop you from becoming hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them he out. He knew them. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. And each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? Oh, absolutely. He knew. I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he would pass them out. He knew in advance. But his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he Ugh. knew. Hair in the face. I'm wondering if you hear the objects of power Can one, one more time. Can you object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I love going over the basics. Thank you, Pope. So objects of power are mundane <laughs> objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Got it. I think Did I got it this time. Did this? It's not falling in face hair. Got it. I think I figured it out. Thanks. Got it. I think we're Thanks, good to go. Emily. Thank you. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. I like you. Just let me know. We should replace the re regular Pope with this Pope. Cool kid. What the fuck did I just do? Open loadout. Things have happened here. Got it. Um. What are these? Oh. Health. Oh. These are like... It's like in Dishonored, how you have like the- you have the bone talismans, and like they give you little perks of different kinds. So this is the perk that's better than these ones. Health. Can I also equip this one? I can't. I can only have one. Here we go. Got this. Hidden trend. Conceptual material. 
I have no clue what these are. I still don't get the assets. Unknown caller. Essie instructs Jesse to find the hotline. Baby hotline. An object of power, in the form of an old telephone, to understand the messages from the dead director trying to communicate with her. They hope he can provide insight into the Hiss invasion. Collectibles. Research and records. Um... Field research. Wait. Okay. Field research on Hiss entity. Hiss corrupted agent. Confidential. The Hiss manifest in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The Hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These Hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only made are only meant to propagate the Hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons, preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, Hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form? Research is ongoing. Refer to file blank for full report. Hmm. Hmm. Got it. Wacky. Well, we've talked to Emily. We've done the things. So we need to go over there. But we can fast travel back. Wait, can we? Can we fast travel now? We can't fast travel. Shit. We need another etherite. Bye B. Hold on. Skip over those stairs. You can do it. Nice. There it is again. Our welcome message. We're gonna have to kill things again. They won't let me in. Wait, what? This is the dream. Are you good? I don't think he's good. 